In this video, we are going to look at how you can use AI in Excel to get some incredible insight about your data. And best of all, you only need to know how to click on one button or how to ask the right question. Microsoft Excel is one of the most powerful spreadsheet application. That's why over the past few decades, millions of businesses, organizations, and individuals have relied on Excel to get insight about their data. Of course, to be able to get insight from your data, the barrier to entry is fairly high. You need to know about formulas and functions, conditional formatting, pivot tables, and the list goes on and on. Of course, if you want to learn about those, you can check out our channel to learn more about Excel. But uh, Microsoft Excel is pushing the boundaries to make it even easier and quicker to use by introducing artificial intelligence or AI. Let's check this out. Here I am in Excel and I have a sales data set. If you would like to follow along, I have included the data down below in the description. To analyze the data here, I could use formulas and functions. I could insert a pivot table. I could also apply conditional formatting. But all of that requires some knowledge of how to use Excel. Instead, let's go to the top tabs and make sure the one titled Home is selected. And all the way over on the right hand side, Let's click on the button that says Analyze Data and this opens up the Analyze Data pane. To expand it, you could click over here and you could drag it a little bigger. This way you could see it better. And this pen has so much power as long as you know how to ask the right question. Let's actually test this out. Okay, let's say I want to know how many units we sold per day across all of these different products. Using formulas and function would take a little bit time, but here I simply need to phrase my question. Here I will write how many units are sold per day and I want to see it as a line chart. Here I'll press enter and look at that. Here Excel automatically generate a chart for me that shows me the sales across all these different products. And all I had to do was type in just one question. If I want to keep this view, here I'll simply double click on this chart and that insert a new pivot table and a chart showing me the answer to my question. As a pivot table and with a chart here, I can now modify these pivot table field to get the view exactly how I want. And if you want to learn more about how to use pivot tables, I'll add a video in the description box. Please make sure to check that out. Instead of modifying the pivot table, I can also just go back to the original analyze data view and I can modify my question. So let's say that maybe instead of seeing it per day, maybe I want to see it by month. Here I'll simply change the word to month and then I'll hit enter. And here I get a chart automatically generated. Now so far we just see a line chart but what if I want to see it as a um, let's say a column chart. Here I'll remove line and type in column. Hit enter and it automatically generates a column chart showing me the answer to my question. I could even get it back as a table. So instead of a column chart, here I'll change this to say table and hit enter. And here I see it by month in a table format. So this makes it so easy to analyze data as long as I have the right question in mind. Up to now, we have had to ask all of the questions. But I want to see if maybe Excel could come up with some insight for me and specifically I want to know if during all these months of the year are there any outliers or maybe trends in the month. Right here I'll click on the X to remove my previous question and here I'll type in are there any data trends and then I'll press enter. It's now analyzed all of my data. And here it looks like the product Apple sales increased over time. That's great. This really helped me analyze all of the data very quickly. Okay, now let me see if there are any other insights. Here I'll go back up to the top. Let's remove this question and let's see if maybe there are any product insights. I'll type in the question. Are there any product insights? And then click on the go icon. And right here I see an answer. It says that the product strawberry has higher units sold compared to all of the other products that we have. Another thing that I want to know is which customer should we wine and dine the most? So which one brings us the most revenue? I will go back to the top and here I'll remove that question. Instead of typing in a full question, I could also just type in revenue by customer and hit enter. And here I see the revenue by all of our different customers and we got this. 
now i actually meant to ask for the average revenue by customer id and here if i look down below excel also helped me refine my question here i see average revenue by customer id i can select this and here i see that view now before you think you are out of job and excel could analyze just about everything there are some shortcomings here i'll zoom out just a little bit and let's say that i want to know well what was the total profit the total profit is all of the revenue minus all the cost right up here i'll ask another question and let's say i write what is the total profit and i'll hit enter and here it simply return the sum of the revenue that's the sum of this column so it doesn't sum up the cost and then subtract it from the revenue let's try one more thing over here i'll type in total revenue minus total cost and then i'll press enter and here it return me the sum of revenue and the sum of cost but now i need to subtract them and it gets me close it doesn't quite get me all the way there maybe in the next iteration you will be able to ask question like that a lot of what we have looked at so far that you have a good question in mind but sometimes you might not know what to ask here i'll click on the back button and here we see some sample questions that you could click on so maybe one of these questions give you what you need and here if we scroll down a little bit here you can see some example answer or insight about your data so here i see the unit sold by product name i can see the cost by customer id if that's helpful down at the very bottom i could also click on show more and here i see many other insight about my data so even if i don't have inspiration for a question you could just look through these and see maybe if there's an interesting view of my data that i hadn't thought of in general to get the best possible result it helped to have a single header up on the top also when you phrase your question right up at the top you want to make sure that it's as specific as possible that way you will get the result that match exactly what you are looking for all right that's how you can start using ai in excel and i think you will agree with me that ai makes excel so much easier to use instead of worrying about how to use the tool you can instead focus on asking the right questions to watch more video like this one please consider subscribing to our channel and i'll see you in my next video